A big news day for South Korean tech giant Samsung Electronics, Lee Jae-yong, who served as vice president of Samsung for 10 years, has been approved as chairman now. However, the company also reported its earnings for the third quarter on Thursday, and they were sharply down due to mostly the sluggish memory semiconductor sector. Lee Rae-hyun with this report. Lee Jae-yong of Samsung Electronics has been named as the company's chairman. The South Korean tech giant said that the board of directors approved Lee step up from vice chairman to chairman on Thursday. This marks 10 years since Lee was appointed as vice chairman in 2012. Although approval from the company's board of directors is not needed, the chairmanship was ultimately decided based on the company's principle of board-based management. Meanwhile, Samsung Electronics on Thursday posted an earnings shock for the third quarter of this year. The company reported that operating profit were down over 31 percent compared to a year earlier, badly missing market forecasts. Operating profits came in at around 10.8 trillion won, or about 7.6 billion U.S. dollars. Despite the surprising figures, sales increased 3.7 percent on year in the third quarter to over 76 trillion won, or about 54.2 billion dollars, an all-time high for Samsung for any third quarter. Net income, meanwhile, was down 23.6 percent on year. Analysts say the decline in the memory semiconductor sector was a big reason for the downturn. Profits from the company's chip business came to 5.1 trillion won, or around 3.6 billion dollars. This is a sharp decline from the 10 trillion won, or 7.6 billion dollars, posted a year earlier. Other than chips, sales of smartphones saw a rise, largely driven by the release of new models and high one-dollar exchange rates. The display and home appliances sector, however, plunged as there was low demand for TVs due to the global economic slowdown. Meanwhile, some analysts say Samsung's fourth-quarter earnings are expected to dip further as memory chip prices continue to fall. But the world's top maker of memory chips and smartphones forecasted that despite geopolitical uncertainties, demand for its semiconductors may recover later in 2023 as new data centers and computers require more memory. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.